Hello children, I welcome you all to class 10 standard. As you all know that we are going through a very tough time, but we believe that soon it will get over and we will be back to normal. So to keep your studies in mind and your 10th standard in mind, we have started video classes for you all. So I am Priyanka Joshi and I'm going to take your bio classes. I know that you all don't have your textbooks with you. So let me tell you that first chapter in your book is again cell, which you have already studied in class 9 standard. So that chapter is given in 10th again, just for the revision purpose. We'll start with the second chapter, which is the structure of chromosome, cell division and cell cycle. So to start with the topic, the first topic which we are going to study in this chapter is what are chromosomes? You all are familiar with the word chromosomes because you have studied in 9th standard the structure of cell and inside cell you have studied nucleus and in the, the nucleic material you have studied the chromosomes which are actually the carrier of hereditary material. So here we are going to study from where the word chromosome came. So the scientists, first of all, they studied the cell under the microscope and when they go through the nucleus, they were not able to see anything because it was transparent. So they dyed it, they have stained it and after staining, they were able to see some thread-like structure inside the nucleus which were named as chromatin threads. Later on, when the scientists studied the nucleus more, They've studied that there, there are some condensed body found inside the nucleus which were named as chromosomes. So these chromatin fibers when they, the cell is going to divide during the time of cell division, the chromatin fibers itself turn into chromosomes which are the condensed body. And since these condensed body take the dye very readily, very easily, that is why the name came chromosomes, which means chroma means color and soma means body. That means colored body. So the definition of chromosome is chromosomes are highly condensed coiled chromatin fibers. Next is the discovery of chromosomes. The chromosomes were first discovered in the animal cell by Walter Fleming, the German scientist in 1882. And he discovered them in the larvae of salamander, that is salamander is an amphibian animal. He saw the thread-like structures in it and then he named them as chromatin fibers because 1882 was a time when there was not such magnified microscopes were there. So little study were done. Later on the structure came into being with the high magnified microscope. So we have already studied about what are chromosomes, then we have studied the discovery of chromosomes. Now we come to the next topic that is the structure of chromosomes. During the time of cell division, the chromosomes appear with two strands which are known as sister chromatids which are at point attached to each other and that point is known as centromere. The chromatin fiber constitute of two components, the histones and the DNA. DNA is 40% whereas histones are 60% which are proteins. The DNA strand winds around a core of 8 histones molecules. This core can be imagined like a football around which a long rope is wound with one or two loops. Each such complex is known as nucleosome. So a single human chromosome may have about a million nucleosomes. The structure of the DNA initially studied by Rosalind Franklin in 1953. Later on, Watson and Crick studied in the same year the same structure and gave the structure of double-stranded helical structure for which they got the Nobel Prize in 1962. DNA is a large single molecule that is why it is known as a macro molecule. It has two complementary strands wound around each other in a double helix. Each single DNA strand is composed of repeating nucleotides which are made of three components phosphate, sugar arranged lengthwise and a nitrogenous base attached to the sugar inwards which extends to join by a hydrogen bond the complementary nitrogenous base from the other strand. Thus the two strands together make a ladder-like arrangement 
with the nitrogenous bases forming the rungs of the ladder. The bases are adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. In short, we call them A, G, C, T. Adenine pairs with thymine with two hydrogen bonds. Guanine pairs with cytosine with three hydrogen bonds. So children, you must be thinking that if the chromosomes are the hereditary carriers and the carriers are genes, so what are genes? So let me tell you that what are genes? Genes are specific sequences of nucleotides on chromosome that encode particular proteins which express in the form of some particular feature of the body. They are units of heredity which are transferred from parents to offsprings and are responsible for some specific characteristics of the offspring. So students, to recapitulate, we have studied so far what are chromosomes, then we have studied about the discovery of chromosomes, we have studied the structure of chromosomes, under the heading structure of chromosome we have studied DNA and histones and then we have studied the structure of DNA and at the end the definition of genes.